We're in a BMW, we're in a 640i convertible. Sure, it cost you just under $66,000. And there's no, you can't tell us it's off-top, can you? No, that's true. Wind noise is minimal. It's a double skinned lining. It's pretty amazing to think that this is soft-top and so quiet. Speed warning. <laughs> All right. I'm really impressed with the snowing on this uh, 640i, it's very sensitive. And, uh, let's go to these bumps now and see how... Well, I mean, there's no... Well, this is a soft top car, remember, there's no vibration at all. But, can you call it a 640 when it's not? Trade scriptures would have uh, something to say about that. I drove the old 6 series but with a 3.5 diesel and that one was so well suited. That is the, the point with BMW, you know, they establish the ground rules, the weight spread before anything else. Low rumble with the exhaust nut there. If I give it a bit now, here I go. Blah 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 blah. There's a full lift of road here. Three thousand revs, fifty miles per hour. Just as a Gear change kicked in. Now, of course, this is another double clutch system which BMW called Steptronic, which is an eight speed auto. The engine has hydraulically controlled engine mounts, so presumably they'll alter the height of the engine, it will lower under, under speed, hunker down, giving a low C of G, low center of gravity. Now this is £6,000 more than the coupe, so figure that one out. Yeah. 640i would suggest that it's a bit fatter. 2,979cc. Right. But there's the benefit of having a twin scroll turbocharger. King regeneration, auto stop start on the four cylinder manuals.